Part one is going to cover the fundamentals and it's broken into four chapters. Chapter one is all about getting familiar with RStudio. It's going to cover the source, the console, the environment, and files panes inside of RStudio, and then some basic customization options. Chapter two is going to cover programming basics specific to R. Uh, this is going to cover some basic programming principles such as functions, comments, and loops. Chapter three is going to cover data types. There are five basic data types in R. We're going to go over what they are and how to use them. And then chapter four is going to cover the six basic data structures in R. Let's start by customizing the appearance of RStudio. First, open RStudio and choose Tools from the toolbar. Then choose Global Options. Navigate to Appearance and select your favorite theme from the Editor Theme section, and then press Apply. Now let's break down the basic components of RStudio. There are four sections in RStudio. These sections are often referred to as panes. This chapter will introduce you to the source, console, environment, and files pane. The source pane is the top left pane in RStudio you see highlighted by the red square. This is where you will write and edit your code. If you don't see the source pane, you may need to create a new R script by selecting R script from the new file dropdown in the top left corner. Alternatively, you can use keyboard shortcuts, control shift N on Windows or command shift N on Mac. Each component of the source pane is labeled in this diagram. Don't feel like you need to memorize each of these components right now and feel free to use your textbook for more detail on what each of these components are. The console pane is the bottom left pane in RStudio. This pane has three tabs, console, terminal, and background jobs. The console tab is where you'll be able to run R code directly without writing a script. This will be covered later on. The terminal tab is the same terminal you have on your computer. This can be adjusted in the global options. And then the background jobs tab is where you can start and manage processes that need to run behind the scenes. The environment pane is the top right pane in RStudio. This is where you will manage all things related to your development environment. This pane has four tabs, environment, history, connections, and tutorial. The environment tab will display all information relevant to your current environment. This includes data, variables, and functions. This is also the place where you can view and manage your memory usage as well as your workspace. The history tab allows you to view the history of your executed code. You can search through these commands and even select and re-execute them. The connections tab is where you can create and manage connections to databases. And finally, the tutorial tab delivers tutorials powered by the learner package. The files pane is the bottom right pane in RStudio. This pane has six tabs, files, plots, packages, help, viewer, and presentation. The files tab is a file explorer of sorts. You can view the contents of a directory, navigate to new directories, and manage files here. The Plots tab is where the output of your generated plots will show up. You can also export your plots from this tab. The Packages tab allows you to view all available packages within your environment. From this tab, you can read more about each package as well as update and access packages. The Help tab allows you to search for information about functions to include examples, descriptions, and available parameters. The Viewer tab is where certain types of content, such as Quarto documents, will be displayed when rendered. And the Presentation tab is similar to the Viewer tab, except the content type will be Presentations. 